Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of where does your self-worth come from? Well, the thing is, is that in our society, I really think that the self-worth, what you are worth, what you think you're worth, often comes from how you've been educated, how you've been told things from a very young age. If you're born in a family that is very caring and that is very nurturing and that literally like believes in a lot of education and stuff like that then what happens in these kind of situations is that basically um, you're seeing a lot of successful people a lot of people um, basically doing well in life I'm not saying from a monetary uh, position probably they are but I'm saying uh, as a human being they're doing well psychologically and they're doing well for themselves they're able to you know, have their families, have their vacations, have their free time, have their work time and all these things. So when you are in that kind of environment, well, you tend to learn these values too, because we are basically oftentimes very similar to the people that we hang out with. You know how they say we are uh, worth as much as the five people we most hang out with the people that we most spend time with. So the thing is, is that if you are born or you are surrounding yourself by people that have a good self-worth, a self-esteem of their self, then you will inevitably do or have a much better chance of yourself doing well. So what is your self-worth in society is basically what you deem yourself to be self-worth. So if you are not doing good, if you feel that you aspire to be like X, Y, and Z, then you have to better surround yourself by like-minded people so that you can grow yourself in that direction. And at the same time, not just expect that things will be given to you in life because life is very cruel. Life is not a place where things are given. You will have to seek. You have to go out of your way. You have to get out of your comfort zone in order to try things, in order to put the gears in motion. And then only once then that happens, then you're basically going to be able to have an even better self-growth, self-worth. So nobody starts out, well, kind of lying here. Some people do start out in better positions than others just because, as I mentioned, you are surrounded by people who have a very good self-worth. So you will inevitably, even without trying, be already at a higher level than people who are born in a third world country or that are born in a family that has a lot of addictions and bad things because what's going to happen in those situations that you're going to be influenced by these things and you're going to also want to be part of something so that's how people get into gangs that's how people get into bad positions and that's sad but at the same time if you're able to step away from that step away from uh, those attachments step away from the fact that you want to be part of that group and you maybe you can just distance yourself, get away, forget about it, and not let those people basically get you down. Because that's not very good, you know? That's the thing. So that's why I'm saying that it's much more important for you to figure out what your self-worth is. Once you have figured out what you want out of life, then you can make your life. You can make whatever you believe in, you can make whatever you want to be become that thing. But it won't happen if you're not going to seek it, if you're not going to try to get better at things, if you're not going to try to learn things. And if you're just within your comfort zone and you just like being within that, well, then your self-worth will be whatever whatever it is at this current moment. And probably it's going to actually become less good. But if you're happy that way, then kudos to you, no problem there. That's fine too, because everybody's life is the way that they want it to be.
So that's it. That's all I have to say on this video. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.